Hello, welcome to Cetra's Engineering Lab. My name is Gino Pinto. I'm a manager of R&D here at Cetra, and I'm here to talk to you about high overpressure capability on pressure transducers. Behind me, you will see there are three pressure transducers installed in a manifold. I'll be giving a demonstration of overpressure capability. Two of these transducers have high overpressure protection, and one of them is a typical transducer that does not. So you will see the benefit of uh, this feature. And there are some products on the market like this high line pressure, low differential pressure transmitter that offer high overpressure capability. But as you can see, this is a very bulky product and in many applications it cannot be installed in equipment um, that where a size of a smaller product with a more cost effective solution might be beneficial to that application. So I'm going to give that this demonstration. This unit is a differential pressure transducer. You can see there's a, a, two, a reference port on there. This one is a gauge pressure transducer, 0 to 15 PSI. This one is a gauge pressure transducer to 25 PSI G. The differential one is the lowest range. It's 10 inches of water column, roughly uh, 0.36 PSI. So I have the manifold attached to a pressure controller and the output of each transducer is being recorded on this strip chart. You can see there's a, a, a the blue line, green line, and yellow line from these transducers, and there's a meter with a, a blue indication, green indication, and yellow corresponding to these transducers. These are reading very low values. We have zero. I have another digital gauge here showing zero pressure. Control show is having vented zero pressure. You can see milli inches of water, milli psi, negligible pressure in the manifold right now. So I am going to enter a pressure of 0.36 psi, which is equivalent to about 10 inches of water. And you will see the blue trace from the differential pressure transducer coming up to pressure. It's trying to stabilize pressure controller is overshooting a little bit. It's stabilizing now at 10 inches of water. You can see the meter reading 10 inches. I'm going to now change this to 15 psi. And now you can see the pressure is rising. Um, the differential pressure transfer, so it's already clamped at 11 inches. That's the most pressure it's going to record. The output is, is clamped. Uh, but the pressure is continuing to be recorded now by the 15 PSI unit. You can see it's starting to stabilize at 15, and there it is, 15 PSI. Uh, this other unit that's at 25 PSI, it had already been overpressured, and you can see it's falsely recording uh, 26.8 PSI on the meter when, it, when in actuality it's only 15 PSI. So I'm going to uh, vent this system now and we will see the pressure is going to drop back down to zero. It's a little bit, take a little bit of time to get the pressure out of the manifold. See, it's decaying from this green line, and now the blue, the trans, the low differential is starting to uh, decay and come back to zero. It's narrowly vented now. You can see what milli inches of water. It's essentially zero. Now I'm going to subject this to a high overpressure condition. I'm going to detach it from our pressure controller because it cannot generate very high pressure with it the way it's configured right now. I'm going to attach a simple hand pump to the manifold and I'm going to pump and apply pressure. You can see the digital gauge is now recording the pressure. Um, I'm, it's about 12 psi. I'm already saturating this transducer and you can see it's re this one is recording 12 psi as the gauge and now I'm over 15 so that one's saturated. And again, this one was falsely re recording pressure because it had already been overpressured in a previous test. So I'm going to bring this manifold pressure as high as I can get it within the limits of this digital pressure gauge, which is basically 200 psi range. So 
So I'm at 200 psi. Uh, all of these units have been uh, are now highly overpressured. This one over 500 times its full scale rating. This one uh, over 13 times its full scale rating. This one about eight eight times its uh, full scale rating. Where again, it's proof pressure. Proof pressure is the pressure, the maximum pressure that you can subject the the device to without it needing to be recalibrated. So it's not significantly affecting its accuracy. Where a proof pressure rating on this typical transducer might maybe two times its full scale or three times at best its full scale, uh, these offer much higher uh, proof pressure ratings. Vent it. Now we're returning to zero. They're very easy to check, but manifold is vented. The low differential pressure transducer is reporting in the milli inches of water. So it uh, very negligible effect on the zero. Same with the 15 PSI G, that's uh, reporting 60 milli uh, PSI. Again, it's, it's, it's recovering pretty, pretty good back to zero where it started. Uh, this one had already been proofed and it looks like it just continued to go in that same direction. It's closer to 13 PSI now. So let's check what happens when we apply their full scale pressure. Let's start with the uh, 10 inches, which is 0.36. So it's pretty close now. As you can see, 10, 10 inches of water, pretty spot on after having received over 500 times its full scale pressure. Now let's hit apply 15 PSI. See what happens to the other um, transducer. And there it is. It reached 15 PSI, it's reporting 15 PSI. So this transducer also was not affected by the overpressure event. Uh, the typical transducer, you can see 27 PSI. Uh, it, it actually climbed up some more. So it was, it had been affected and uh, it continues to be affected when you apply the same uh, overpressure to it, uh, which uh, an overpressure event like that pretty much rendered it useless. Well, we will not be able to recover the calibration on this device. There's not enough adjustment on the zero and span settings to do so, so it's rendered useless. Uh, so there it is. This concludes our experiment and showing that there are products, transducers on the market that have uh, very high overpressure protection and that's a very important uh, specification especially for applications where unintended overpressure can occur or a system can apply periodically uh, overpressure events which would typically damage a typical uh, pressure transducer if it did not have high overpressure protection. Well again thank you for uh, viewing this presentation.